And a head teachers union warns of a rise in anxiety and other mental illnesses among school children. Also in a moment, Rupert Murdoch and Jerry Hall celebrate their wedding with friends from show business and politics. A 92-year-old woman living in the care of her daughter has been told she will not be deported to South Africa. The Home Office has dropped its threat to move Myrtle Cothill, who's been living in Poole in Dorset, following a high-profile media campaign. Edward Salt reports. For Myrtle Cothill and her daughter Mary, this is the best present they could have wished for in time for Mother's Day. I feel so excited and so happy that I can stay. It's such a weight lifted off of me. It's too wonderful to wake up and think, you're free now, I feel free. I don't feel downtrodden, I feel free today and happy. Myrtle came to live in the United Kingdom in 2014. She was on a three-month tourist visa, but when that ran out, her daughter and her British husband wanted her to stay with them because of ill health. After months of meetings and Home Office tribunals, the family were told Myrtle had to go. I've got no one else. If I go to any place, where have I got love and attention to me, like my daughter? Oh, please. The Home Office were concerned because Myrtle had sold up property before leaving South Africa. In a statement today, the Immigration Minister, James Brokenshire, said, I have decided that Mrs Cotthill should be granted limited leave to remain in the UK with her family, given the compassionate and exceptional circumstances of this case. People that are in the same position as I was, please read up on the immigration rules first before it, you have to go through what I've had to go through. Why do you think the Home Office made this U-turn and does it set a precedent for any future cases? I do not think that it sets a precedent. Uh, what we're hoping in that respect is that the actual law will change. Subject to final security checks, Myrtle can now stay in the UK, but she won't have any access to public funds like the National Health Service. But despite that, this mother and daughter feel it's a battle they finally won. Edward Salt, BBC News, in Paul, in 